Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll talk about a very important topic in FMCG sales, how to calculate return on investment of a distributor. So in case you are a sales manager or a sales officer, you should know how to calculate the ROI of a distributor. You should educate your distributor how to calculate the ROI. So for that, you must know what are the concepts, what are the components of ROI. So in this video, I'll talk about the components and how to calculate them using Excel. All right. And also I'll share the template of this Excel so that you can download for your consumption. Let's get started. All right, guys. So now we are on the Excel sheet in order to calculate the ROI. First, we'll talk about the components. There are three components. First is income. Second expenses. Third is investments. What is the ROI formula? ROI formula would be gross income minus total expenses divided by the investment done. What is the significance of ROI? ROI tells you how your investment is doing. What is the performance of the investment done by you? All right. So in order to calculate ROI, first we'll talk about the gross income. In this scenario, I have taken a distributor with monthly turnover of one CR. So his annual turnover would be 12 crores. All right. So monthly turnover is one CR. This again, I have bifurcated according to the margins that here he is getting from the company. So let's say 30 lakhs out of one CR. He is earning 5% margin. All right. This is this particular E column, right? There would be 50 lakhs that he is getting 3% margin. Then again, the balance is 20 lakhs. He's getting 1% margin only, right? For all these three components, he is earning gross income of 5% into 30 lakhs. That would be 1.5 lakhs, 3% into 50 lakhs. That would be 1.5 lakhs, 1% into 20 lakhs. That would be 20,000, right? So this is what he's getting. Plus what is the schemes he is getting from the company? So let's say on an average, he's getting 2% of the scheme. Sometimes he's getting 3%, sometimes he's getting 5%, sometimes he's getting 1%, sometimes he's not getting anything. So on an average, I have taken 2%. So 2% of 1 crores would be 2 lakhs. So total that gross income comes out to be 5 lakhs 20,000 if we sum these four cells, right? So now we have calculated the gross income. But in this gross income, if you would like to ask why I have taken these three different margins 5%, 3%, 1%, 1%, because he's selling to the retailers, to the wholesalers, to each and every other outlets. So he's giving different kind of margins. So he is getting 5% in some cases, 3% in some cases, 1% in other cases, right? So this is how I have bifurcated just to get an average understanding, right? So gross income comes out to be 5 lakhs 20,000. Now we will talk about the expenses that is second component. So in expenses, I have taken salary. I have taken delivery. I have taken establishment cost in salary. Salesman cost would be 72,000 on an average. If there are three salesmen or four salesmen, you can calculate as per your condition, right? Then computer operator, roughly he comes out in 15,000. So total salary is 87,000 in delivery. Vehicle fuel is roughly 20,000. I have not taken maintenance, depreciation, insurance or rental. So total delivery charges are 20,000 in establishment cost. I have not taken office rent in go down rent. That would be 50,000 electricity bill, 4,000 stationary 500 others or miscellaneous is 10,000. So total establishment cost comes out to be 64,500, right? And bank charges are 500. So total expenses would be 87,000 plus 20,000 plus 64,500 plus 500 total is 172,000. So now we have calculated the two components income and expenses. We have to calculate the third and final component that is investments. Investments is calculated using paid up stocks, pending claims, market credit. What is paid up stock? Paid up stock is the stock that is there in his go down right so that he has already purchased from the company that is 75 lakhs here i have taken 75 percent of his monthly turnover if the distributor is maintaining 75 percent of the total turnover which is one cr so 75 percent would be 75 lakhs this is an assumption right pending claims i have assumed one percent of total turnover that is one lakh 
that he has to get from the company market credit the credit that he is getting from the company is let's say 15 days so for that particular day he he is getting the market credit of 50 lakhs he is he has already supplied to the market right so that is 50 lakhs so total investment that he has done so far would be paid up stock plus pending claims plus market credit so total investment comes out to be 1 crores 26 lakhs right so now we have calculated all these three components income expenses and investments so what is the roi roi would be gross income minus total expenses that is 3 lakhs 48000 which is net profit divided by the investment that is 1 crores 26 lakhs so in this example ROI comes out to be 2.76% this is monthly ROI in order to calculate the annual ROI that would be 2.76% into 12 which is 33.14% so in this example the ROI that the distributor is getting is 33.14% which is considered very healthy anything greater than 20% would be healthy for the distributors right so if that particular distributor takes the FD in on an annual basis he is getting seven to eight percent right here he is getting 33 percent so which is like more than three per uh, more than three times right or four times he is getting so it is very healthy in general fmcg industry annual roi if it is less than 20 percent is not considered healthy greater than 20 percent is healthy right so you can consider this if you have to calculate the roi it is very helpful and you know uh, satisfying if you can help the distributors to calculate their roi thank you guys for watching this video this is it in this particular video if you have any doubt regarding roi you can comment in this video i'll let you know thanks guys